yeah, yeah, yeah. Special dedication to each and everyone who watched the Nina Cabeza live show. Watch me so, me go so damn believe it every time my music play yet fail life. Greetings, proper fix, proper fix, proper fix. I bring you peace, I bring you peace. We good to go, go to go. Good to go then in a cabeza live show What I gonna do, what I gonna do now What I gonna do, what I gonna do now uh-huh. Everyone, let's get it on Watch the in a cabeza live show Everyone, let's get it on Watch the in a cabeza live show Bring your wisdom to people In a comfort of their own sin Again, bring your wisdom to people in a comfort of the whole simple What more? What more? Tune in I tune in Keep watching Then in a cabeza like show Yes No problems, no problems, no problems, no problems Yes indeed Greetings One live it, grow it, don't marry snake head Hatch the flying dragon, catch us good, say that What up, what up, what up, what up Welcome to the Nina Cabeza live show today. It's another Thursday. It's another beautiful and amazing, not too hot, but okay kind of weather. As you can see, I'm in the comfy of my home today. I'm relaxing, I'm chilling. It does feel like home, although it's in the studio. But I wanted a homely setting because today we are going to be touching on a very serious topic. And the reason why we're touching on that topic is because a lot of people have asked me, you know, Nina, what do you think of this particular topic? And I asked, what about marriage and ministry? How do you look at it and things? I mean, is God really that unfair that, you know, X, Y, Z, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to get into it. So this first part of uh, the show, I'm going to clarify it in English as the spirit leads. We may finish it all throughout in English. But we're really going to talk about marriage and ministry. What does it, what does it mean? Does it go hand in hand? I mean, if marriage is the constitution of God himself, then why are there some pastors or some ministers who abandon the home for the sake of ministry? Every excuse is on ministry, this ministry, that. Why do they take even the ministry into the marital home? Should the marital home also be the first priority ministry? Because marriage is God, constitution. So we would think that it is very close to God's heart of being the first ministry that any male, any female into ministry should think of that. Well, I don't want to say much right now because you know me in any topics that I have, I'm always willing and always want to give you what I call the provocation, you know, clip or thoughts you know i like to provoke your folks you know i like you guys to imagine a little bit more i like you to come out of your comfort zone because a lot of people are really into the comfort zone so the clip that i'm about to play it's about two to three minutes but it's going to provoke you and it's going to show you exactly where i'm going as well when it comes to marriage and ministry so pay close attention to what's being said and then when I come back then we will really just try the best as we can to take it easy and talk about what is marriage according to God and what is a ministry and how the two really shouldn't be you know walking side by side but should become one so watch this clip and then I'll be back I want to draw your attention to a book by Simon Sinek, Leaders Eat Last. He talks about an anecdote that he heard of an undersecretary of defense who was invited to speak at a particular conference. And during his delivery, he stopped and went off script for a bit and he said, you know, last year I was invited to the same conference to give the same talk at the same time. He said it was so different. I landed at the airport, I came first class, I was met 
at the airport by one of the organizers. I went up to my room, had a good night of rest, and the next day morning I came down, somebody else was there to receive me, asked whether I'd like to have a cup of coffee, and when I said yes, they gave me a wonderful cup of coffee in a beautiful ceramic mug. And he said, that was last year. Since last year I have retired. And this year, when I came, I came economy. When I landed at the airport, there was nobody to greet me. I got myself a cab, came to the airport, I came to the hotel, and then came down this morning, took my own cab, and came to the conference venue. I asked somebody, can I have a cup of coffee? And they pointed to a coffee dispenser and a plastic cup. And he looked at the plastic cup and he said, you know, it reminds me that the ceramic cup was given to me for the position I held. But the plastic cup is who I am. I remember reading about Indra Nui, chairman and managing director of uh, PepsiCo International. And she talks about a time when she got the news that she was going to be president of PepsiCo. And she came home to her mother. She said, Mom, I have great news. And she said, hush, child, we don't have milk at home. You need to go out and buy a carton of milk and come back. And Indra Nui says, she said, here I was president of PepsiCo. And my mother was telling me to go out and buy a carton of milk. And her mother said, I don't care who you are in the office. When you step over the threshold into the home, you're a wife, a daughter, and a mother. And you need to take care of the family. I think that brings home to us just how important it is for us to leave our designations and our roles in the office so that there is harmony and equilibrium at home. And sometimes it's our pride and our ego that takes front stage, center stage if you will, and causes these kind of problems. And our holy scriptures remind us, if I may read them verbatim to you, a man's pride brings him low, but a man of lowly spirit gains honor. And then again from Proverbs, when pride comes, then comes disgrace, but with humility comes wisdom. And so a word to the wise for us, as we look at the positions that we hold, let's make sure that we leave our positions in our workplaces. And when we come home, let's come home to be husbands and wives and sons and daughters and create a healthy, loving environment for the family to grow. God bless you. Okay, sorry. Hi guys, sorry. I was just very focusing on the topic today because I want to make sure that I get to speak on whatever it is that I want to speak about today. Okay, so we've just watched a small clip video. You know me, I like to find all these little, little, you know, clip seats of stuff which are all are very inspirational just so that, you know, you can kick us off into the topics today so today we're talking about marriage and ministry now the questions are why are why is it that when it comes to marriage and ministry there seems to be two separate things should it be like that let me take my glasses off should it be like that because as far as the bible is concerned you know, in the book of Proverbs, it did say that he who finds a wife finds a good thing. Not only does he find a good thing, it also carries on in saying that and he obtains favor from the Lord. So we know the marriage, it's something that's very close to God's heart. But the challenge is why and when did ministry became about to take over marriage 
because nowadays in 21st century, as far as of some of the inboxes that we've been getting is, you know, I'm married to a pastor, but you know, he's always out in campaigning and things and I'm always at home with the children, raising the kids. And he's always out late, late, late sometime, conferences, traveling all over the places. And you know, and sometimes you will call them and the phones are off and you're thinking, what did I marry into? Is this what marriage is? Well, I'm just here to clarify something. That is not what marriage is. And I believe that a lot of things in this season needs to be like spoken about. And one of the things I'm actually just doing is just speaking the truth from the word of God. Marriage is between a man and a woman. And I'm sorry if my statement is going to offend many people who do follow this, but I'm speaking based on the biblical concept, which mean based on God's concept that marriage is between a man and a woman. And then in the Bible, it says, when you get married within that first year, the man is not allowed to go to any services, meaning, you know, any military service or anything. Why? Because he has to take care of every single need of his woman in that first year of marriage. Now, listen, I want to tell you guys something. One thing I've learned and I've grown to learn is every single word that the Lord has said inside the Bible, he has said it for a reason. And I realized that many of us Christian, we just read it like a, it's a text or a love story or something, but we're not really paying attention. We are reading it to respond. We are reading it to find sermon to preach to people, but we're not reading it to ourselves to first apply it. We need to apply the word of God inside of us, first of all, before we can then march on come on a show and start talking to you guys. It is very important that you yourself understand the word of God, that the word which you are preaching is actually what you are. You have lived and you have gone through. If the word of God cannot cut you, if the word of God cannot correct you, if the word of God cannot remove all the things in you that is not of God, then my friend, you are wasting your time on going to church and standing up in the pulpit and preaching. Because it will not change those who are hearing you. Because it's not so much about the word that comes out of you, but it's so much about what you are carrying inside of you. If inside of you, you still have some things which are very ungodly, as you open your mouth and you speak, you are projecting and you are sending out spirits which are ungodly and not godly. These are the things that we just need to clarify. God is a spirit and you need to worship him in spirit and in truth. And none other way, no matter how you can, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, these um, courses that everybody do, theologies, no matter how you can theologize it, no matter how much you can humanize, you know, the researchers and the science researchers, the theology researchers, it still remains the truth that God is a spirit. And for as long as God remains a spirit, everything he does, everything he will do will always be done through the spirit realm and if you do not have an understanding on how the spiritual realm communicates how the spiritual realm walks then unfortunately you will be doing a religious things which is a ritualistic thing so you're just doing things because this is how we have always done it this is how we have learned it to be done but i'm just here to knock on the wall i'm just here to really rise up the children of God and tell them, hello, wake up, wake up, wake up. It is time to go back to the first love that we had for God and start worshiping God in spirit and in truth. So marriage, we say, it is a constitution by God. Then why is it that ministry seems to be rejecting or neglecting marriage? But here's why. Because most of the people or most of the foundation of marriage that most people are in was never godly. It had nothing to do with God being in the center. If truth be said, come on, I've been there three times. 
So I know what I'm talking about. And it's very rare for people who have gone through it and learned from it. And I've literally come out and trying to explain to people how it is. I don't have shame of the kind of lifestyle that I lived before because I was an ignorant person. I was very ignorant. But it's through the ignorance that I realized, you know what, I need to learn about God myself. I need to really sit down and say, hey, God, let's communicate. We need to commune, me and you, because I'm tired of hearing pastors here, that, 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 preaching based on their experiences, based on what they've seen or whatever. I want to preach based on me and God's relationship to myself first before I can preach to you. So if I'm sitting here and giving you these things, it's because I have gone through the marriage things more than twice, put it that way. And because I've gone through it more than twice, it has come to the point where I had to stop and look. There's nothing wrong in anything that I've done, by the way, and there is nothing wrong in anything anybody has done. Because you see, when a child is a child and is learning how to walk, it always has to fall once, twice, three times. How many times he falls, he still has to get up because eventually he's going to walk. So the secret is in trying. If you're not trying, you're not going to know anything. If you're relying on other people's information, you're more likely to fall harder than if you go on by your own trying. Let me just try. Let me just try. Because upon the trying and the trying and the trying and the trying, eventually, eventually, God will then show you what it is. But sometimes fear creeps in and we start to worry. And remember, the Bible says the perfect love casts out fears. What people don't understand is when you have the perfect love of God really inside of you, you just live life freely according to how it is done for you because everyone is destined in this world to accomplish something. What is it that you're destined to accomplish in your life? Only you know. So let's get back into marriage. Marriage is a constitution of God. No human, no tradition, no anything. However, we live in a globe which has different amazing culture you know created by different pockets of nations you know and it's beautiful i love doing researches i love learning about culture but it all comes down to one thing culture by nation is culture by nation is culture by human it is great and god doesn't see anything wrong in it if people wants to get married according to the tradition it's beautiful god doesn't mind you know, whatever you make up for marriage to work or whatever you think marriage is for you, it's okay. Because God says, whatsoever you believe, that's what it is. So if you believe marriage for you is whatever, I don't want to say it, but, you know, whatever, then that's what's going to be. You have to understand the principle of the spirit. That's how it's going to be. And nobody should contest it. So we need to stop all these prejudging or judging people you have to understand it how you want to understand it because if how you understanding it is a little bit outside of the biblical context then it's religious don't get um offended if i say that it is religious it is your own righteousness nothing to do with god because if what you're saying it really is not in comparison with the word of god and you claim to be a woman of God or a man of God, I'm sorry, you will have Nina telling you, uh, excuse me, sir, uh, excuse me, ma'am, you're out of context. So what are you talking about, please? You know, so we have a lot of um, tease people who should be teachers and not pastors. We have a lot of people who should be motivational speakers and not pastors. We have a lot of people who should be, you know, all manner of those other mentoring things and stuff, but not pastors. Okay, because when it comes to pastors, you have to abide by what the Bible says. No matter how you feel, you can't have your own opinion. You cannot have your own opinion about marriage. You cannot say, well, you know, that's what the Bible says. But, you know, according to my revelation, yeah, great. You can have your own revelation from the Bible. We see it all the time, right? You can get a million people having one scripture and they have different variety of revelation but the bottom line is discernment we need to discern we need to rightly discern 
but then you can't discern properly if you have never walked alone with God. There's this saying that I've always said, and I put it in each and every one of my books that I write, and I always say this, that if you have never walked alone with God before in your life, you will never walk with anybody. You know those people, right, that's always having issues and fighting and argument with everybody. But to them, it's always the other people that's always the wrong. But they never once looked at themselves and said that, ah, maybe it's me. But they never see that. They always see the others. No matter where they go, they are always having issues with everybody. Yes, those are the people who have never walked with God alone. Because when you take the time to really walk, I'm laughing right now because I just love God. He whispers something in my ears. But when you walk alone with God, right, what happens is he first shows you who you are in his eyes, not what you see. He shows you who you are. It would be harder first to understand, so is this me? Like, for real? This is me? Oh, my God. Yeah. You get those kind of moments. And then as he shows you who you are, what happens is you begin to fall in love with your real self. Your real self. Who God says you are. Not who your mother, father, uncle, or the family where you are coming from, or even the nature where you are coming from say you are. No. It's what God says you are that counts. So once you fall in love with yourself, you, you will build this, you know, assurance, you know, this security, this this secure and assurance that, yeah, no matter where you go. And what you find is, no matter where you go, no matter what anybody does to you, you'll always be okay. You'll always be loving people. You'll always be kind to people. You don't easily get offended. Do you know why? Because you know who you are. So when you know who you are, it's easy to help anybody. It's easy to reach out to people, even the people that do you wrong. You can easily reach out to them because you no longer have what we call feelings. You know, you have, it's like spiritual maturity isn't even the word to say, but you just see things how God sees it. Because I'm going to break this down to you guys, and unfortunately, it's going to upset a lot of people. But unfortunately, you know, some of you will not like it. But when God looks down on a person who has accepted Christ as the Lord and Savior, God doesn't see the wrong life that person is living. He only sees Jesus. And that person is, the, is, is, is that person's responsibility to basically learn about this God and then remove themselves away from that. Marriages these days, it's a joke and not being done how it should be done. And I fully can understand, as a child that comes from a nation who very much, you know, accepts the tradition uh, marriage, which for me, I think is great. If that's what you believe, that's amazing. But it become offensive to me when you are a Christian and you still want to believe in tradition wedding. I think it's an insult to God, first of all, because you're trying to make it sounds like, well, God is stupid. For what he has said but there is no uh, church wedding either in the bible and the traditional wedding that people talk about by rebecca in the bible well back in those days everybody used to marry each other's cousins and so on so there was quite a lot of incest happening in there which most people obviously did not get a chance to look at it that way but you see irrespective of how you want to put it you want to take it back to Rebecca, you want to take it back to whatever it is, you will always find something. Like I've told you, it was incest. People were like going out with cousins and keeping everything within their own bloodline. It was all incest and all those things, right? But then came Jesus. Come on, guys. Jesus is the person that our focus should be on. Jesus is the person. So when Jesus came, he completed all of that right then he start to show you how marriage really should be then there's an the explanation when he gave you guys about you know if you find yourself with somebody you know who is not so strong 
as you are, don't leave them. Stay there. Because maybe through you, that person could be saved. You know, adultery being one of the things to, for divorce, that you can divorce. But then there's also all these other different, different, different things in it. But then when you go towards the end, they tell you whether you choose to marry, whether you choose not to marry, it is not a sin. There's nothing wrong to it. Okay. So we ha I just want to tell you guys something. That marriage is the constitution created by God for here on earth. Why? Because inside the marriage, you get to have an understanding on a visible and physical understanding how the relationship between a God and his creation is. Okay, because in the marriage you first have the husband and then you have the wife. Two becomes one. And then children comes later on. Those are the creation. The man being God, the head, and I always said the woman being the Holy Spirit, the wisdom one, you know, and together they become one with God being in the circle, in the foundation. That in itself, my friend, is ministry. First, foremost. So to any pastor or anyone that wish to be a pastor or anyone who is a pastor but not yet married, please, you need to remove traditional way of thinking because marriage is the first ministry before any ministry. If you have a ministry now and you are a single person, understand that when you get married, you need to ask God to lead you on how he wants to reform your your ministry because what that means is as you get married it means that you must first start preaching to your home they are your first church they are your first congregation they are your first members of the church that's where you start you do not start when you all go to the church and you introduce this is my husband or this is my wife and these are my children that's not where it starts it starts at that marital home so if you're not, what you don't, what you're not do, it's like what you're not doing in there. I'm sorry to say this; it may offend many people, but you will not be able to do out there. And that's just the truth, as a spiritual truth as it is, because it's all about the spirit. I want you to just focus on the spirit, because I get a lot, a lot, a lot of men of God who are so appalling, so terrible husbands, and some wives are also terrible wives. But when you see them in the church, you will think, wow, God must really love them. Let me tell you something. <laughs> it's not every person that you see mounting the pulpit that God is still with them. I say still with them. God may have started with them. But the bottom line is, did God is the one going on and carrying on with them? Let me show you guys a verse. Because I think this, this, this will explain it much better for you guys. Okay, let me just look into this. We're going to go to Galatians. I just want to simply look at this Galatians 3.3. 3. Okay. I'm going to read uh, NIV. It's uh, NIV version. It says, Are you so foolish? After beginning by means of the Spirit, are you now trying to finish by means of flesh? Have you experienced so much in vain? If it, it really was in vain. So again, I ask, does God give you his spirit and work mir miracles amongst you by the works of the law or by you, by your believing what you heard? So it says, are you, after beginning by means of the spirit, are you now trying to finish by means of the flesh? That's uh, Galatians 3.3. 3. So that alone just tells you, so many of you listening to me today, when you go all born again, you had a zeal like none other. You had a spirit that you really started with the spirit, just like many other ministry today. Really, really started, really started with the spirit. But what happened? They, they are, they've been trying to finish it all by themselves, by the flesh. That's what's happened. So how does the flesh come in? Well, this is what I'm saying. When you're married and you know that you have a call and you have a ministry, the first people you should attend to is actually people in your marital home, not your members of churches, 
nor the, the, the members of churches paying tithes or anything like that. The first people you should attend to is the people in your marital home. Here's why. Because a member outside can be here today and gone tomorrow. But those who are living with you only 24 hours a day are the ones that are in your home. They should be your priority because they are part of you. In fact, they are all of you. So when you, they're like a member of you, if I may say, a member of your body, part of you. So when you are building them, when you are constantly filling them up, pouring the love of God as you receive from God and you're prioritizing them, they are the overflow love coming from you. They are the one who's going to go now and overflow throughout all the members of your ministries. It doesn't have to be you. There's a lot of things a lot of men of God needs to really understand. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've heard this before. I don't care. Even if it's my children, even if it's my marriage, I don't put nothing above God. There's no denying that. But God is not an unfair God. Come on, guys. He's a very fair God. God isn't going to bring a woman into a marital home to suffer. He's not going to bring a man into a marital home to suffer. Or for the sake of a ministry. Because you have a call of God in your life. And because of that call of God, the Spirit of God just spoke to you yourself, the man or the wife that this is what you have to do. And it did not even speak to both of you. Remember, two becomes one, yeah? So if you are in marriage and you are still operating in, oh, this is what the Lord told me, and the other one comes say, yeah, this is what the Lord also told me, then you're not actually one. You are actually two in marriage. And this is where the marriage and ministry become separate. You have pastors who wake up in the morning or whatever, feel it's okay to leave out the house and leave the wife and the children at home and he goes to church because God comes first. No, my man of God. God comes first, but remember, God created us in his image. Your wife, your children are God's. They should come first. So how can you put first a God that you're not seeing when you cannot put first the physical reflection of God that you are seeing? These are the questions we need to ask ourselves. A man of God, it doesn't matter how late the children may have put you to go to church, be late together. Because when it comes to God, it's never late. Because people are not going to pay attention to the fact that, oh, a man of God or a woman of God has come late with the children. No, people are going to look at the beautiful thing of how you're walking hands in hands. You're together, your allies. You're truly showing the harmony between the Trinity. Trinity don't separate. They are one accord. If you're going to be late, let all of you be late. If you're going to be early, let all of you be early. It doesn't mean there's anything. So th that's how it starts. And before you know it, things will start to move into harmony. It's just little things like that that somebody put forward to me. And I wanted to come on the show and really talk about it just a little bit because um, I'm starting in English first and then I'm going to quickly go to Lingala. But I needed to just put this across so that many people could really, really understand that marriage and ministry should become one. You can't separate them because marriage as it is, a constitutional from God is ministry in itself. So that's the whole ministry. And people who are married understand this. You may not have a church, you may not have an altar or anything, but the fact that you are married, you have a ministry. That is a ministry. Your home is a ministry. You need to focus on every part of people in that home. Every single one of them. Because if they fail, you are the person to blame. If they succeed, you are the person to be applauded. So think about these things I've just said. You know, marriage and ministry? No, it shouldn't be marriage and ministry. But it should be marriage is a ministry. So this is how, where I stop for the English part. So we're just going to go through a small break. And I'm going to just to summarize it to my Lingala followers so they get to understand what it is 
that I have just spoken. So don't move, stay put, and I'll see you straight after this. Hi, my name is Naomi, that's my artist name. I live in Hounslow, but originally from Democratic Republic of Congo. Um, I'm a mother of five beautiful children and my influences are Tina Turner, Madonna, Whitney Houston and Aretha Franklin. The single is called Love You and it's a song that I wrote when I was going through challenges of life so I had to love myself so that's what really the single is and I hope you guys are gonna love it. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Hi. See, my technician is like, oh, you're going back live. And he came back and I was looking at something. I caught him saying, oh, hello. Mbote, mbote, na binonyo sa uzo la nangali lo. Na uto sili sa par ya liboso na anglais. E alors, na lobeli sur le mariage na ministère. Alors, pourquoi isa mariage na ministère? Bo, kompro na suka, ya na oklarifi ma ramunyo sa. Tengo solo la licamueta li libala. Le mariage c'est quoi? Ah, bande kona nga licamueta li ma mo libala e ya makamwe bele makamwe bele. Alors, le mariage to ebi ke to lobaka ezali uh, constitution, donc constitution na sens que ezali eloko nzambe a kreya ki. Alors, to mi to ni nzambe a kreya ki ngo poani. Bon, nzambe a kreya ki libala pona ala ki sa bino, ala ki sa biso nyonso. Ah, ndenge nini euh dans relation au biso tozana ngo personnel na nzambo to mona te siko azo bimiza ngo siko physique ya ngona tshaka ona kati ya le mariage donc c'est un peu ça mais siko li kamotali li kamotali a wezali ba passer en mingi bino ba to bozana ba ministère he to yoki masole bele ba lobi ke non eh passer en mususu mona yo mususu atiki ne mwasi na ba na ndaku ya kene ba kamotia Ati ki bon anda kuopo bane ko sala bon o tchake bon o sala ki aza retard. Oh. Me pasteur. Bi me lo bi e mi bale boko ma moko. E komi wa psiko yo ozu moitié OK, oti ki moitié kuna. Est-ce que ota mona bon moko? Non. E lo nga lo ba ki exact que na kati a mariage ba tu mingi ne ba ye ba rate. Ça dépend ya fondation o bo ba ne le li ba na bino. Po to ebi ke to vivre na kati mokili o ezali donc, la ba tradition, la ba culture est belle partout, partout. Alors, quand ça vient de mariage, mon homme tabou, bon moninga, nazam, mon tambo kaboye, nazam, mon tambo kaboye, y'a moi non moni tout ça là, bout tout ça là, bout on a nazam te colo, bout nazam te colo, bout tout ça là, bout tout ça là, bout c'est bien. Et tu sais ce qui est plus important, les années nzambe, à un moment donné, ma bé n'a ni un seul tour en été. Bah tu ne peux comprendre été. Ma bé est kotaka, tangu, bokomi ko simba, la Bible et bolingi en même temps si vous pratiquez tradition ndé sika mabé kotaka o ngana o pesa bino zaka ba vérité eza bilo mo ramike mike simple simple pour bo comprendre que mariage na ministère et cause à séparité parce que mariage d'abord eza lo komo eza mo te manzambe bo e bien bien de jeunesse de adam et eve eza lo moko nzambe a linga ka mingi ko zongi sa toujours ba na ka sa relation eza lo moko très important pour le Dieu. Alors il y a un homme qui premier ministère. Naba au bar au bal. Moi je suis au bal ni. Et aux a pasteur. To aux a ce qu'il ni faut c'est quand jamais si go à la kisao dimension ni ni ngam mais la ministère non parce que er au bal ni et ça c'est juste que ban dimino na kasi église basé importante. Puis bah au cause elle importante. Ata bâtir à bâtir dim la rouler car ce qu'il ni ni ni. Ata zala ko moi je tenga nga na viva ka na 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 mbonga ba ma bonza ou bien nga na viva ka na ba prier na celle là bas tu tu peux pas vivre comme ça. 
to viva ka parce que nzambe mon ta pesa biso provision nyo so ezaka te po ba to bazo pesa n'église non ne sika ba te beloso mon na bokomi nde ti be esclave a ba to du matin au soir bo sambe la ka ba to bo sambe la ka ba siko na lobi eh ko nzambe wana wa sala ki o vie abondant ko viva ngo koma il faut to lamuka christ ta e mo ko eh aya kite po a reconcilier biso na ye mo ko Aya ki po a rekonsile biso na nzambi. Me lelo bino ba pasira lelo. Bozo mema, maka mwa nzambi na nivou mwa kuna wo kompante. Ke basi na bana na bino na kati ya ndaku ba wo soufri. O yo zo koko sala te na kati ya ndaku na yo. Mon pasteur, o kosa ngon li banda te. Tika. Bana na o minister na kati ya ndaku na wo. O vanda a table mwa te na bana wo na mwa sina wo. Tu ne partages pas la Bible, la révélation dans moi sinon. Mais ok, nous partageons dans la bande d'immunité sur le banda, tout dans la serre, mon robot et le banda. Si vous avez balayé qui m'a mentionné un point. Pourquoi pour que nous avons balayé la serre ouana? Ce sont des choses, hein. Il faut tout lober là où. Parce que les ablomans miké 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 miké, bah des fois miké 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 peut-être. Et vous payez moi si. Et vous avez qui fiançaille, non mon bal yango, tu voyais tous ces défauts. Mais le bika qui a été, non au camote ma, ce qu'on a balayé, ah, les nions se rechangent. Mais je viens vous dire aujourd'hui, ce qui au bali est le moins changeaté. Mon ta changeaté soit bali, mon ta comme à pire. Au moins les bala, ils ont construit un zambi. Ça veut dire que y a des tu mouinda, hein? Y a des tu Et on se soumet comme ça, ben non, mon a été. Et on regarde dans le haut, mon angoisse se bien, bien. Et ça, on colle et fongo la camouille de pelle. Ça, mon osons mon a si quoi, mon tuana si quoi, cent pour cent au yaza. Mais si quoi, c'est que je dis aux gens, ça, y a on a vu fondation les bas là, on a ce que ma et ça qui bien te. Il y a un mutu et ça là que au mon a ma camouille qui est bon monté. Donc fondation il faut ça là nzambe. Ça veut dire quoi? Et bon, on a quatre dans la bulle qui fiance. Et ça, bon, y est banat. Mais si qu'il faut au tal là, il faut au tal pour la selon la parole. Sauf que mon amour n'y a pas besoin de l'eau, mon bozo parce que oh yo, il a sentiment cher, brisé en haut avec l'amour. Sauf que mon amour n'y a pas besoin de oh yo, il est l'eau boue, brisé en haut avec l'amour. Au moment où bozo brisé, bon, ça veut dire que bon, bozo comme il l'a qui s'abîme au moko l'iloba. Il bino même si vous comprenez, à part notre sabon, on va tout mettre même si vous savez que bino ah bino bah il m'a té. Nga zo semino obo sa leze lo moa bien parce que herbe ko mas ko na ka sanda ko li bala tu vois ce qui va se passer bo ko mas ko gloire en zame ne ko me ma bino e ke na bino boso mais parce que il y a pas de gens qui pratiquent ça il y a pas de gens au balingi ba kangana ba yeba na nzo to te ti ba bala na ba lingo sala ngote parce que déjà il na cadre ya li bala ya tradition to ka la pesi déjà mbongo ya ceux qui a nini wa ben a mbongo nini mbongo ceux qui a banini bo sala ngana Et c'est tout. Bon, que quand on a commencé à boire, ben ils ont tout. Non, ah, non. Si on boit, ben ils ont tout. Je veux vous dire, la Bible dit, donnez au César, à César, c'est qu'à César. Pesa César, où est à César? Et dans Zambé, où est Zambé? Dans Zambé, Zambé, mon lit, mon esprit. Bah tu me balayes, bah coute à ma. Maloba, où est bima que Zambé, esprit, pesa la vie. Et à mon bal, à l'objet, à tuer le tout. Et puis mon sobio, qui est dans Zambé. Au moins, dans mon mal, à quand est bon Zambé? likolo ni esprit esekangi esprit yango wana boluka be esprit mususu te osoki anenini esprit e amaloba o ebi malaka za mino na biso c'est l'esprit se boye ba ki te longa na o di ke bino ke maloba to loba ke ze esprit ne na o loba boye za be esprit na o bimisa alors c'est ça l'esprit alors boye ba ke na moment na er yo ndimi oui nde ko mo bali soko za na bango 10 o proposa ki 10 o zo cha mili toi Dis ozo sura na bango iba kina mama wana ozana dis basi na mondi ya esprit o ba accepte ba za basi na elo bo e bati alors yonde ko moi si ce que za fait mutu za na ba prière ti e nde ko ba lo monika o tiki ka bon il faut ozo e ko lo bi wi zo ngasiko pa nzambe lo banzambe la ki sanga na monde ya esprit mutu za nani Oya omo na bango la kisoto la basi bele bata nani bango soto baza na waiting room ya ozala moa sinai et Dieu va vous montrer c'est comme ça toi tu vas voir le femme tu crois que ah le femme de nuit non c'est pas ce sont pas des femmes de nuit ce sont le maloba oya mutuana akenda kiko kosemi na mutu msusu maloba mwana maloba to bimisa Ozo sola na mutu moko e amusa ta kuzen onso ba ke e chéri na ngayo pena e se penos ezalaki kozaki ndekote mena balayo 
Ce sont le maloba, c'est l'esprit, ils ont taillé quelque chose là-bas. Il y a un moment où ça a battu, on est très conscient. À tous les lobes, à tous les lobes, à tous les lobes, à tous les lobes, on a une blague. On a un nom de Jésus n'a rien jeté. Pourquoi je fais ça Je ne peux pas comprendre, mais c'est parce que par ignorance, au que côté ça, c'est mon smoke au bruit. Pour mon tourner à Zolo, on a un nom de Jésus, on a un nom de Jésus. Mais yo nous sommes tous responsables de dégager ou bien arracher le coin de Zolo. Ce n'est pas la personne qui parle à Yo. Alors ceux qui sont attentifs, ils ne comprennent pas où ils sont. Alors le mariage, le fondateur du mariage, est un mariage. Surtout dans la communauté africaine, il y a un mariage. Raison pourquoi, il y a un problème spirituel qui est en haut. Il n'y a rien à voir avec la Bible ou la Bible. Non, 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 non. Ça n'a rien à voir avec le fait que tu la tradition. Non, 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 non. C'est tout simplement pour comprendre que tu as un esprit et un parce que même la tradition, c'est spirituel. Vous voyez bien, hein? Ce sont des choses spirituelles. Vous ne comprenez pas. Il faut vous la guider par un esprit. La tradition est spirituelle. Et ça, c'est spirituel. C'est spirituel. Ce sont des choses spirituelles. Alors, ceux qui vous comprennent que la spiritualité est... Alors, s'il vous plaît, vous avez dit que vous Donc, bah bah on a bien un bah évangile il y a nos auto esprits si j'ai pas appelé ça donc tu es attaché dans la tradition le colomon au bon la tradition le colomon au bon la Bible et vous dites que oui 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 non la Bible dit hein bah tu vois bah le colomon le mal le colomon nous avons sans ça bah on savait dit que y a une chose là au bout de nos nous on disait mais blah bah c'est bah sans dire donc vous êtes l'autre la mission nous amène parce que Dieu préfère qu'on soit à 100% dans cette tradition et aux à la 100% dans cette macamnay pour na quoi na yo vanda et puis on donne on va payer quand on va quoi on y aura pour na au moins on a été battu mais sous sous bon mais tu n'as bien au moins votre bah élimination bien au moins tout 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 bah donne on va na bambou on va ça là car y a quelque chose donne là pourquoi toi tu crois Dieu ne voit pas Dieu voit mais parce que bah on va pour nous que ça a vu na na bah on mais bah ça peut na souka na bah tu vois et bah chrétien mais sous sous on va payer ça à 100% lui on est sous beau tu l'as bah on bouge na bah on met bah chrétien on a un sous bah faut tara Avion te bat qu'une sika. Pourquoi? Parce que nous avons appelé si bangou va bénir et puis va vivre longtemps. Donc il y a des gens. Mais remarquez, race moko et à race à bas au bas à tradition slash nous avons bé. Bas toi na ah bas problème. Bas à quoi na bas problème à bas demo. Bas à quoi na problème à bas ndoki. Bas à quoi na problème à bas pauvreté. Bas à quoi na bas problème à loco. Et puis bas toi na ah Bamona kaka bandoki bamona kaka mabe jamais au tika gova na mutu na bozo beta ba masolo bozo beta bozo masolo mo ko za positive on moni ana lo bimo positive mais on esa pona emission msusu je vais vous parler sur nos paroles comment est-ce que boki ko yeba mutu e azolo ba ke mutu oyo azana ka ya molili mutu oyo ana ka ya mwinda il y a la façon ni ni faut oyeba ngo na oba no fungola bino malem malembe pour on lie que vos pointe ka mutu yo za ndoki o moni ka mutu lo bio chika na ebio OK c'est bon zonga na chambre non que nous sommes la pona mutu ana inutile ko changer ba mot inutile lo ba mais yo za la we pour ani yo lo parce que déjà tu connais tu sais hein oza e bisi biso que ma people perish for lack of knowledge donc ça veut dire que mingi bo kufa po bo ye bana bino mara mbelete bo lingi na bino sagesse te vous rejeter la sagesse po bo kilo na da sagesse a bato mokili bato ba sala tradition sur le mariage o ba me mara mingi na berreur msuso eza yara to vanda o moni ba yara to vanda bo ye bo vandi bo bandi o bota et après bo ke bo bi bo bala après ce li bala ne si li bo lo bani si nza mais non li bala na déjà eza djana fondation moka mabe donc ça veut dire que le balané au vanaté mais le bala au esa dès le début Dieu est là. Bozo ke ne ba marche Dieu est là. Bozo ça ma rabe Dieu est là. Mata kita. Ke ne gauche ke ne droite ningi sa ngone na sulingi. E ko ya te. E ko ya te. Parce que nzambe a onoraka du loko esa yi. Et ningi moko pe satana a onoraka biloko oeza ye mingi bozana bo tambola na biloko asata na kati na bino ya ngwana pe satana alanda ka bino 
Vous comprenez, il y a un peu de temps. 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 Il y a un peu de pornographie. Il y a un peu de temps. Il y a un peu de temps. Alors, ce qui est malade, ce qui est un problème, c'est la montée. Il y a un peu de temps. 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 Mutuloko langa onza na beta onza malazi na mo na isu malazi asme ya wana telo mo te puka na ni loka sata na kasi na ngati sata na na tante amega kututi eh amega te se kumsa eloko yoyoza na kasi ya wana mo mais on dit pas que ça on a quand même des 100% qu'il y aura pas de problème il y aura des challenges mais bah challenge on est là que juste pour élonger la foi na yon amara manzambi il faut pas comprendre ça ne veut pas dire que au sein des locaux non ils ont là pour élonger la foi na yon amara manzambi mais tinga ça t'en a eu bien à petit tour déjà mais là on a déjà connu tes mains rouges et quand est-ce qu'à bolingo non je veux que est-ce qu'à boire aye bi là où il peut te prendre mais tu vois elle rouge ou si quoi bon si quoi il peut faut comment la matière tu comprends que aye et si on peut se soutenter, on peut se soutenir. Quand tu vois, on a un petit milieu, mais on a un petit milieu. Tu vois, c'est comme ça. Donc, il faut avoir 100% d'armé ou 100% tradition. Exactement comme il y a tradition, d'armé, bon, on a un petit d'armé, on a un Christ, mais selon la tradition, non, on a un petit d'armé, je suis désolé, on a un petit d'armé. Ce qui est un petit d'armé, selon la Bible, on a un petit d'armé, on a un petit d'armé. Alors, on a un peu de temps pour ne pas confuser le peuple de Dieu. Et ça, c'est. Il y a une création, une nouvelle création. Nous autres, c'est catholique. Tout ce qui compte, c'est Christ. Ce n'est pas des nations, ce n'est pas l'intelligence, ce n'est pas pour ça les PhD, les docteurs, les docteurs, les docteurs, les français, les anglais. Mais là, on a un peu de temps. Tout ce qui compte, c'est Christ en toi. Le fruit du Saint-Esprit en toi. C'est tout ce qui coûte. Et là, on est souvent dans le monde où on est. Est-ce que vous avez un catino? Pour ceux qui ont un catino, ils vont manifester. Ceux qui ont un catino, tout le monde est autour de nous, ils vont bénéficier. C'est très important. Alors, le mariage dans le ministère, il faut que vous ayez deux choses. Le mariage dans le ministère, il faut que vous ayez un Il faut que vous ayez un bon Le 2M, ça doit être 1M. Parce que déjà dans la case Yandaku, il y a les bala. On a l'homme qui est comme Dieu. On a la femme qui est le Saint-Esprit, sagesse. Et on a les enfants qui viennent comme les congrégations. Vous voyez un peu. Donc, au bandit, on a la case Yandaku. Parce que au cas de la case Yandaku, il y a un peu de la case Mais les lots, au bout de la case Yandaku, il y a un peu de la case Yandaku. Il y a un peu de la case Yandaku. Parce que beaucoup de gens sont membres de la case. Bah, pasteur, vous parvenez de parler n'importe comment avec vos membres. Hein? Bah, membres, bah, comment on met ça dans le Respect, s'il y a. You know, in English, they say, dans l'anglais, bah, le bah, moment où on va dire, familiarity breeds contempt. Donc, ils ont le cas, bah, ceux qui ont yé bani, né, l'eau, qui ont yé bi moutou, un peu plus, donc, respect, ou en a, ils ont été soutenus. Pourquoi? Parce que, on yé bi, bah, on a trop. On a le genre de membres, ce que nous avons les pasteurs dans l'église, c'est le cas pourquoi Parce que nous avons un kangamana bangote. C'est quelque chose que Saint-Esprit m'a déjà dit. Nous avons un kangamana bangote dans le monde. Nous avons un kangamana bangote. Pourquoi Parce que, un, nous avons un kangamana Quand Dieu regarde, il ne voit pas la position de pasteur, de bishop, je ne sais pas quoi. Il y a un bangote. Il y a un bangote normal. Donc, il y a un défaut, il y a une erreur. Il y a des gens qui ne sont pas bons. Mais ce qu'on peut dire, c'est comment discerner un faux prophète et un vrai prophète. Il y a des gens qui ont été très gentils. Il y a des gens qui ont réagi à ce qu'il y a dans une église. Pourquoi Eh, de toute façon, il y a des gens qui ont été très gentils. Il y a des gens qui ont été très gentils. Voilà. C'est comme ça qu'on juge. Tu vois, il y a des gens qui ont été très gentils. C'est que passé à l'autre côté. Et on ne juge pas par ce qu'on voit. Parce que c'est normal. Et Satan, dans ce cas, il dit que les autres passeurs sont vraiment à un niveau moral. Et puis, ils ont dit que les gens sont en train de se faire. 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 
Ezan est long, mon retour, bon, bazan, en haut, qui n'a pas de match et casse, n'a pas de peut-être rien à nous, même plus. Le seul chose, bon, quand on bazan, on a dit, moi, building, on bazan, on va bénir l'église. Moi, enregistrement, on va bénir au salon, non. Parce que, n'a, de parcours, côté ma voisine, n'a, côté ma mission, on a dit, on a la police, et partout, je prêche la parole. N'a la différence, mon côté. Je suis église, n'a mon n'a zaboué. Tu vois. Donc, avoir quelque chose de physique, et la qui cité qui est l'équipe qui n'a ni mon robot non les abattis très car bâtiment qui les bâtiment parce que quand Dieu vraiment regarde Dieu ne voit même pas ça donc bon excusez moi il faut maintenant la vérité parce que la minute on a saison où beaucoup bâtiment belé bah n'a qu'à sa souffrance bah n'a qu'à sa problème spirituel et c'est très important que dans la vérité bah tu vas comprendre que le mariage et le ministère est le qu'on manque parce que le mariage c'est le premier ministère où nous avons ça qui n'a qu'à sa jardin dedans les alliés ministères, les alliés karaté, y a ka toye bananzo, toto banobo ta banao ni ni non, les alliés ministères, parce que les lois sont qui nous aiment à bomber mon kili mon bimba et à l'obi que kaka yo na kaka c'est libala mon toti kala, il faut au bandawana, tout mona qui a on attend wana ni ya noa, on a vu ça non, et bande les alliés kaka adana ev, on a vu ça, vous comprenez, les alliés ministères et comment cela, banda ko kola, banda ko cultivé et si koza Kota non libanda te libanda est une distraction. Libanda est vraiment une distraction. Banda est ce qu'ils allent. Priorité. Tiens la moté maintenant, n'importe Et le reste viendra après. Parce que mon libanda est un zambé. Ah, na kasi ndako est un yo. Est un yo. Elle se nous embête. Parce que yo mto komi nous amène na kasi libala. Donc tu sais que tu dois savoir. Tu es Dieu dans ton mariage. Et tu dois faire ce que Dieu fait pour toi dans ton ministère à l'extérieur. C'est Dieu qui fait, ce n'est pas toi. Ce n'est pas ce que tu as parlé, mais c'est Dieu qui fait. Pour ce que tu as il faut que tu as dit 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 2020, aux Pourquoi Parce que, c'est très important. Alors, mes frères, je viens juste pour vous dire que le mariage, les alliés constitution en Zambie, tu connais presque dans Souka. Ah, ma God, time et Kenara. Oui, mais ce que vous avez sur la Macam, le temps et Kenara, tellement bas, on a mon ami Tounaka, et Kenara, on a Donc, tu connais presque dans Souka. Il faut tout cas ah, parce que nous avons respecté à temps. Et alors, je vais respecter. Donc, le mariage est quelque chose à la séparité na ministère. Le mariage est à la ministère. Donc, quand on parle de ministère et vous êtes marié, il y a un et il y a un Avant de juger un pasteur qui est marié, il y a un mariage c'est là où je veux voir que oui Dieu est là je sais que bateau belé barolo ba que oh non oh que non deux fois hein surtout langage au tobo taraba na mais tobo tamité maté les lo naiko lo ba mutunyo sur lo ba langage on a besoin de pas nzambe bouke sing nzambe pardon tobo taraba na nous révélation à mité Les vérité. Vous êtes distrait par des choses de tradition. Au bout de moi, on a occupé sa moto sousou. Ah ben, nous beaucoup l'ont moins. Oh, les années de la tradition, la mission zalaka. Si vous voulez qu'on examine ni na olobilo sur moi na na. Il y a des choses. Je voudrais vraiment parler sur cette chose de tradition. La case à culture, on a besoin. So yeah. So coming to an end, I want to say thank you to everyone who's been watching me. Na suki wana en tout cas. Donc, merci à vous qui avez Ah, ma big sister, sister Nanga de cœur. Um, je vu ici, je vois uh, Giselle Mac. Thank you, sis, for watching. Oh, and our very own engineer, J. Mike, is the person that you need from heaven above for the studio. This is where I am. He's amazing. Thank you for the support. And I also want to say, Mama Laura, thank you. She's obviously Eska's. Beloved queen, Jessica, she didn't think that he had, he had a, she's beautiful. 
by the way. Mama Laura, excuse me, I see you in the next Thank you for watching. Sister Sylvia, thank you for watching. Big Marcus, Marcus, okay. Thank you for watching. Mama Marlene, oh yes, Mama Marlene uh, Chibalanga, she's going to be here on the 13th of September at uh, Grace Embassy because they're hosting a night vigil. So this is a uh, woman of faith. They are women of faith in Christ. They're hosting a first night vigil. And I'm going to invite you guys. I'm going to talk a bit more about it next week because hopefully by then we'll have a little video to generate to show you guys. So I'm organizing it for them. So there's going to be two of them coming from Paris and Belgium. Mama Marlene. Uh, she's going to be one of them. Mama Marlene is one of the person who is here. And Mama Sandra, Prophetess Sandra P. Arozala. So we have the 13 et ça vendredi le 13 septembre et vous allez la nuit de prière très prophétique donc on prophétiser dans le loba makam on va déclarer des choses surnaturelles donc ils ont la très très important en minute tout ça j'ai dans la séance ça va et prière pour la préparative de ça et puis en novembre le 30 tout ça en est une conférence il y a ba basi et tous les deux c'est moi en Angleterre dans organiser on en ben bino boya et belé et ça au fêlé mais semaine prochaine on y la bino octobre octobre elle parle sur les single divorce et tout dans la pewana na roloba sur nga na boye ko ba mingi me fo boya ba o ba imba ba pona ni nga na bota ba na 5 ba tata 5 boya na conférence wana po bo yo ko ngope bo comprendre parce que ça na ba tumi susu ba sala ma kam c'est là ba principe na ba ngoba tia na vie tu vois parce que d'un côté si tu as un principe il faut l'anna ngo ce ko l'anna ngo te d'un côté o ça la lisum donc c'est un peu ça alors merci à vous mes chers na ndenge bo bo landi landi nga et na ozo ngela bino susu awa le 15 Août, mais nous avons invité dans Boué Bara Bongo qui nous avons invité le 15 août et que nous avons fire fire. Donc je remercie encore une fois J. Mike, the engineer, SK, wherever you are, Daddy, God bless you, Maman Laura, big kiss for you, and all the other participants of the Chemet TV qui nous amènent à vraiment pas mal à bino, à support au Bozo Sala et to continue initiative ki to to bandi na kata shema e to kene liboso donc from me and the team we want to say thank you for watching me and goodbye hey 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 ya special dedication to each and every one who watched the Nina Capesta live show watch me so make us so the million fit every time my music play it feel alive greetings Proper fix, proper fix, proper fix. I bring you peace, I bring you peace. We go to go, uh -huh. go to go, uh -huh. go to go. Then in a capesta live show. What I gonna do? What I gonna do now? What I gonna do? What I gonna do now? Uh -huh. Everyone, uh -huh. let's get it on. Uh -huh. Watch the in a capesta live show. Uh -huh. Everyone. Let's get it on. Watch the Nina Cabeza live show. Bring your wisdom to people in a comfort of their own simple. Again, bring your wisdom to people in a comfort of their own simple. What more? What more? Tune in. I tune in. Keep watching the Nina Cabeza live show. Yes. No problems. No problems. No problems. No problems. Yes, indeed. Greetings, one live it, grow it, don't nourish naked, hatch it, the flying dragon, catch us good, say that. What up, what up, what up, what up?